Hey guys, so Lamp and Light is back. So for the few months that we haven't been here, Becky and I have been talking a bit, um, but one of the things that we were thinking about and talking about is identity. And that's why the topic to start the year, we're going to talk about our identity in Christ, because there are too many issues going around these days with people struggling with identity, whether it's gender identity, social status, that sense of belonging. So the topic, the title of the topic for this month is name calling. And is name calling ever a good thing? It's incredible what people do just to fit in. And this is not a devotional for only young people. Older people have that struggle as well. But the reality is, when we know who we are in Christ, it puts everything in perspective. And it gives us an assurance and a confidence in being the person God created us to be. And this week of name calling, this week is entitled, Called Us by Name. And we're speaking about identity. And when we speak of identity, yes, it's the uniqueness or that set of char characteristics that could be used to identify or recognize somebody for who they are and nobody else. And identity, it could refer to a person's sense of self, meaning how they view themselves compared to other people. And the Bible verse for this week is taken from Isaiah 43, 1. And it reads, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by name, thou art mine. And just the context of this verse quickly is that this was to the children of Israel, having turned away from God, God was now going to show them mercy. And the people of Israel, they are special to God and chosen by God. Hence, he called them by name and they belong to him. Similarly, when we get saved and become children of God and into his family, we too are called by name as we belong to him. So for our family discussion, the question is, what does it mean to identify with Christ? First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 and it says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So when we want to identify with Christ, one of the things that we need to do is that we must look at ourselves or see ourselves the way that God has created us. So, you know, we're living in a time where, hmm, <laughs> where social media is a thing, obviously. You're using social media right now. But social media can, can also work in another way, not to uplift you, but to tell you, this is how you must look, this is how you have to act, this is how you have to dress. And it's constantly changing. And there's a certain lifestyle that social media is pushing out there that they would want us to live. But you know, the scripture literally says, we are a peculiar people. It does not mean that we're strange and we're weird, <laughs> but it does mean that we are different. We are set apart. We do not have to follow or identify with the world when we identify with Christ. So we're called, we're set apart, and we do not have to follow that particular lifestyle because we don't identify with it as Christians, right? So moving on. Mm -hmm. Identifying with Christ should govern our behavior. It should govern the, the way that we act and behave. Second Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Let me ask you a question real quick. Have you ever heard somebody say, we belong to the Smith family or we are the Smiths, we don't do that? Mm -hmm. It's very similar. Just like Becky was reading, we are called by name. We belong to God's family. And so very, very much so, there are, there's a, a layout, at, you know, any way that we actually would behave and mm -hmm. the things that we would do or the things that we will not do because we identify with Christ. So God created us. We belong to his family. And so we, as people who will identify with Christ, we will also follow the instructions that he has set out for us. And just moving from behavior, when we identify with Christ, it influences how we treat others yep. and how we address certain situations. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. 
The world is teaching people right now how to bully and ostracize people. And when you don't do it, you are bullied and ostracized. But God taught us to love. He taught us to love others and how yep. to treat others. Remember Luke 6, 31. Therefore, if we know who we are in Christ and find our identity there, the world cannot tell us otherwise. And if the world is rejecting, then it should not affect us. The world can't tell you you're a good person today and a bad person tomorrow based on their standards. You're pretty today and you're not so pretty tomorrow based on that evolving, re revolving, whatever kind of trend they have. The world can't accept you today and reject you tomorrow and it matters. Because the reality is, God has called us by name. So we live in that identity. We live in that identity today. Tomorrow, God's willing, we will live in that identity and every day. God bless you all.